Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is this time of the month again. It is Monday, which means Big Egg Monthly Cup is happening. But today is the very last Monday of the month of October 2024. And because of that, we're gonna have the monthly final of this month. Monthly final means the top 20 players of the previous editions who managed to qualify will battle against each other. And the top three of today will even win prices this month we have a cash prize worth 400 euro which is pretty juicy considering this is a fast learn competition and uh, yeah we're gonna see very strong players playing today and of course since it's the monthly final we're also gonna use um a different format today so not the usual cup mode format which you know from bymc or also maybe from bon cup in the monthly final we are also uh, we are always using a knockout mode and it's not just a normal knockout mode like in cup of the day it is actually a custom knockout mode where each player participating has three lives so you don't instantly go out when you're last in a round but you go out when you lose all of your lives basically uh, map wise we have the same as uh, the previous editions this month we have 15 maps which were submitted by you guys so all of you guys this month had a chance to build and submit maps yourself 15 of them will be played in today's monthly final as well um basically we're gonna play all 15 maps on each map players have one quick warm-up because they don't know the map so they have a little bit of time to discover it and then we're gonna have not three but two life rounds on each map and basically on each uh, round players can lose lives i will explain that a little bit further but uh yeah should be clear we're gonna hop straight into the action mr johnsey if you're listening start the cup all players are here and we're gonna hop straight into the action good luck have fun and let's hop straight onto map one because we have a lot of bangers uh coming up today a lot of interesting maps also some very very uh crazy ones i can assure you that so we should be uh, we should be having a nice mixture mixture of you know, normal maps which are drivable and very XCD maps. And funnily enough, the first map of today is called First Map, which is, was built by Mersel, who was also in the chat earlier. Not sure if he's still here. But this is going to be the first map for today. And um, while the players are doing warm-up, I quickly have to disable this and this. And let's maybe follow the first warm-up here. Pretty simple map, should be fine to uh, start on. Nothing too crazy happening here. And I can also explain you a little bit more on uh, how exactly the knockout distribution will work. We have a little bit of snow car here on the first map already. I'm pretty sure people will absolutely love that. But I think uh, if I remember correctly from testing, because I tested all of the maps to make sure that they are drivable, this was not too crazy of a map. Yeah, over there is the finish already. So quite simple map, nothing too crazy. We have a little bit of a risky finish though, which is not easy to hit. You can basically jump out of the sausage and go to the risky. Not sure if players wanna go for that in a knockout format. But now, a uh, small explanation. Basically, uh, we have 15 maps. And the way it works is that on the first five maps, always the bottom three players of each round lose a life. Then on map, uh, map six to 10, the bottom two players will lose a life. And then on the final five maps, always only the very bottom player will lose a life. Might sound a little bit complicated, but you can always um, see it over here. In this case, three lose a life, and you can also see it with the red area here. So basically, always the three people in the red will lose a life. And my name is Elcon, and I'm gonna lose a life in the very first round. That is fantastic. Arpa is still fighting. Arpa is overtaking. I can also go over the opponents in the next round. Or like over the participants. Arpa making the risky, but Arpa still losing a life. And Elcon is... Yeah, no? Uh, yeah. <laughs> losing a life in the first round absolutely classic he didn't play the warm-up yeah that is uh wait what's what happened to elcon read in-game chat what he couldn't play warm-up yeah hello elcon always getting scammed in bymc for some reason but why was he in spectate the thing is you don't have to re you don't want to retire the warm-up you can retire the warm-up and then you cannot play it so i guess that's what he did apparently i have no idea Anyway, um, these are the players that we are gonna have. Okay, now it's switching around, so I'm gonna check it out after the round finished. Nick Sobi crashing here in the beginning. That is not very great. He will probably lose his second life. I tapped out. Fantastic. Ooh, also Elcon fighting, but Elcon is also overtaking, so Elcon should be fine, hopefully. He is going for the risky, and he is making it. Ninth place for Elcon. Very nice. Nick Sobi is... Definitely losing life. Link and Centrian as well. So these are the participants that we have today who qualified. We have Marainthier, Bren, Purple, Heath, Lars, Fred Wolf, Marius, CJ, Elkon, Arpa, Dennis, Lacos Turbo, Valegen, Flo, Tag, Ice, Blixie, Centrian, and a few more. <laughs> Alright. 
Next up, we have a map which is called Yek Rally, built by Witch Tower. And as the name already suggests, we have a Rally core map, which is fantastic. Today, uh, we definitely have the one or other old core map. I can uh, tell you that much. So I hope people <laughs> will not mind that too much. But of course, it will also be good for a few people. For example, uh, Turbo, who managed to qualify for the first time. Turbo is uh, aware of how to drive these cars, usually. Even though it doesn't look like it at the moment. <laughs> but he should be fine on these. Uh, Mario is, of course, also really good on the old car maps. So he should not have too big of an issue. Uh, on this map, we have a very interesting risky finish, which you can go for. I'm not sure if it's smart to go for it, to be honest, because it's really tricky. So if I was a player in this tournament, I would just go for the safe finish. Like, take the slow-mo and yeah, because it's very easy to fail the risky. Um, but yeah, we will see what players will decide to do. I uh, am certainly looking forward to see that. So let's go. First round, Marius POV. First out of two rounds on this map, as I said. Let's see. He is taking the start. Very safe, that's for sure. Purple, in the meantime, got it really, really good. Jumped a bit too far right here, so the others are catching up. But we still have a close race coming up. I think CJ just fell off on the right. That's, of course, not too good. Yeah, Marius with a rather safe approach, as usual. Heath with a small shortcut here. Interesting. Marainte going for some airtime. <laughs> Very chaotic lines here. And now the risky finish. What will happen? People clipping inside. Marius. Ah, Marius going safe. That's what I wanted to see. Good focus. I think pretty much everybody is going safe, actually. Nixobi is in. Lars. Okay, Lars is in as well. And Arpa survived as well. So we have Flo, Ice and Fredwolf losing a life each. And Fredwolf especially is very interesting. Because Fredwolf is the current um, reigning champion of the Big Egg Monthly Cup. He won previous edition. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. If he is going to be able to defend his title or not. Is that risky even that much faster? I honestly don't think so. I didn't test it, but even if you get it good, it's probably not much faster. Uh, I can come 70 ending, yes. Very interesting lines here. People are... Oh my god, Arpa with an insane landing. Look at this. Gaining point 0.5 to everyone else. Arpa, absolute chef of a player here. That was really, really good. He lost a little bit with the turn here. But damn, that was crazy. That was actually crazy. So, what is purple cooking? Purple looks like he is getting cooked in this round. Oh, but look at this. Turbo is still fighting and so does Flo. Oh, Flo going with way too much speed into this. And Nixobi might be in the mud now. Nixobi going for the save finish. Is he going to be the first knocked out player? No, he is not. Okay. He is barely saving his ass. Fredwolf also almost losing another life. But we have Purple, Turbo and Takuns losing a life here. And with that, we already have many players who went down to uh, two lives already. Crazy. So not too many people who already lost two, but quite a few who lost one already. But I mean, especially on the first five maps, where in each round, the bottom three are losing a life. Many people are, of course, uh, yeah, in the bottom three at some point. And we come over to the next map. It is called Jeepers by Benja. So Benja, type one into the chat. And this is a really cool map, to be honest. Um, I think this one, for once, does not have any other cars. I think it's stadium car only. And it's a bit like a bone cup map, sort of. Like, a lot of crazy obstacle driving with, like, dank stuff. But it's it's pretty drivable. It's a pretty cool map, in my opinion. And also full skill. Nothing random here. As far as I see, I saw in my testing. So, gonna be interesting. So, we see here, plastic part. A lot of jumps as well. Then here, you wanna go inside hole. Don't wanna clip it. Then we have the uphill part here. Now, here you want good speed. Because if you don't have good speed, you cannot make this jump. You will have to go safe, which is basically going down here, where Tark is right now. So this is how it looks like when you have enough speed. And then in the ending, you have a bobsleigh where you can clip the entry, so you gotta watch out for that. And into the finish. Quite a dank map. So Elkon getting cooked by internet, apparently, so he never has time to finish the warm-up. That is, of course, not so good. So we're gonna increase the warm-up timeout a little bit. Also, Centrian with a very interesting inside pole line, but it seems to be a little bit slower, sadly. But interesting. But this is a good map for Lars, for example, who is one of the favorites to win today, I would say. And look at this, Elkon got it so good. He gained so much time on the others here. Crazy. But these are exactly the types of maps where uh, Lars is really good at. Like, I don't think we will see him losing a life on this one. That would be very surprising. Unless he really fucks up big time. But looking good for Lars here. In the bottom, it doesn't look that great because uh, Bren is behind. Bren, of course, also playing today. And Bren is, of course, also one of the absolute favorites to win today. He is really good with the other cars. He is good on the dank maps. And is he saving himself? Is he overtaking one? 
Yes, okay, Bren not losing his first life. All right, important for Bren. Therefore, we have Valegen and also Fredwolf again losing a life. Damn, Fredwolf. Not so great for him. He's down to one life already. That would be really hard to win. If he wins from now on, that would be the Giga Chat comeback of the century. But I mean, it is possible. It is possible. That's the cool thing with this knockout mode. One mistake will not send you into the spectator mode. You, ba you basically have two chances to come back. Or three even. So yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, Marius. Oh, somebody fully face planted. I think that was Centrian. Centrian is definitely very deep in the mud. But also Marius. No mistakes so far this round besides Centrian. Okay, Ice. Oh, Ice. That is very bad for Ice because Ice is down to one life already. Marius should be safe for now. And not even Ice is in danger because three people are 10 seconds behind. What the hell happened there? So if everybody here just makes it. Oh, somebody. Who was that? Tark coming from the safe route. And I think, who was that, Marai? No, CJ. What is CJ cooking? In the way, CJ is fully in the mud. And CJ is actually saving the ass of Link. Wow, that is crazy lucky for Link that he did not lose his second life here. That is crazy. All right, we're going to go on to the next map. Probably one of the most normal ones we will see today. It is Arctic Side by Arc Demon X. And this is basically, uh, yeah, like a small tech map. So this should be drivable for absolutely everyone. I don't think everybody's going to be happy about it. Like Marius, for example, probably rather wants to see the dank maps. But since it's still quite, quite early on, even he should be able to survive on tech. But of course, we also have players like Link, for example, Bren, who are very good on tech. So let's see what they are going to cook. But yeah, very normal map here. Should be fine to do for everyone. And uh, yeah, as uh, John C also said in the in-game chat, we now have a longer warm-up timeout. It's going to be 25 seconds so that people who load into the map late um, also have a chance to drive the entire warm-up. Anyway, we're going to hop into the first round and let's see who is going to yeah, not perform on this pretty normal track mania map here. Of course, also a short map, 25 seconds only. So one mistake could already um, be very bad here. So let's see. Uh, Brinken was sadly not able to attend today, so his spot went to CJ, who got 21st. And talking about CJ, he is forgetting where to go. <laughs> Yek, but look at this, Bren as well. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. One of the absolute favorites will lose his first life here because no one else is crashing. And yes, Bren actually loses his first life, damn. And Purple and CJ will both go down to one. There's only five people left with uh, all three lives. That is crazy. So many people already lost something. Damn, damn, damn. But of course, the longer you um, keep your three lives in your pocket, the, the easier it gets at the ending. Because if you go to the top five or so with only one life left, then you really are not allowed to do any mistakes at all. Yeah, talking about it, Dennis, who also has three lives, will probably now only have two. Let's see about the rest. Flo is definitely losing one. And CJ! No! CJ, our substitute, is gonna be the first player who is getting knocked out. GG to him. Thank you very much for substituting again, for jumping in. 07 for CJ. 07 into the chat. Ah, but he, he played well though. It was a close round. Like in general, the rounds here, very, very tight. Like one mistake and literally mud. Will it be the same on the next map? I don't think so because we have alternative angles by Aaron and he cooked a very interesting map. Um, this one might be very confusing to many. Uh, it was okay for me in the seating, so I thought, why not pick it? <laughs> but the theme of this map basically is that you have multiple routes that you can go for. So always like a risky route and a normal route. But it's very hard to see what's the fastest. And especially with only one warm-up, it's crazy. So I think the easiest is just if I, go, if I show to you uh, in Camp 7. So basically the start is normal. We have... Wait, what the fuck? Ice did a cut! Nah, he, what? He did an overwall. So basically here you can go uh, over this part here if you have enough speed, which is kind of crazy. Then here you can jump into the bobsleigh, which most people will probably do, which will go here onto the wood and into the checkpoint. But if you have good speed, you can also jump here, do a bug slide, pick up the checkpoint the other way and have way more speed here. So it's a bit of a risky route. Then at this part, you want to go um, left here and get the snow car. But you can basically also jump from here directly to the checkpoint because this turn doesn't have a checkpoint. And then also here in the ending, you can go here, jump straight, and then go left into the finish. Or what you can also do is to jump up here, in here, go straight, 
and then go left here into the finish. So it is a very confusing map, to be fair. I think that's going to be very, very entertaining to watch because I think many people are going to be clueless. But uh, yeah, those are the risky routes that I found so far. It's, it, is re it is really cooked, to be honest. I also needed um, a few respawns to survive my um, testing discovery run. So let's see what people are up to and what route they are going to opt for. So we have Ice with the cuts, basically with the booster. He's climbing over the wall. That's a crazy shortcut. It's actually also a l nah, it's like it's like equal to a really good normal route. But interesting that he found that. Oh, Ice also found the risky. The thing is you need good speed, otherwise you clip here. But Ice is getting it. And you will see Ice is coming from here and it's much faster. Ice, honestly, dude, Ice is such a giga chat. He's going for every single risky route. What the hell? Dude, look how far ahead he is. Because he took like three cuts already. <laughs> Holy shit. No! <laughs> okay, he fucked up. No. The thing is, in the ending, you can have snow car, but you can also have stadium car. And snow car is a lot faster. Because with stadium car, <laughs> you get a really bad landing here. Ah, what a chaotic map, eh. Hey, but the route... Oh my god, it was actually close. Look at this. Only five seconds behind. Actually, not the... Not the... Yeah, it was not too easy. Holy moly. And Ice is actually out. 07 to Ice. Was nice having you around. I think I had Ice in my predictions as top 7 or something. So rip Bozo to my pickems. That is really bad. We need a 014 for Ice. <laughs> 014 is also such a dumpy mode. O14. <laughs> uh, like we literally have that as an emote. It's so stupid. <laughs> okay, but you see most people are going for the bobsleigh here. Only Elcon is going here. But Elcon uh, didn't understand the route correctly. But nonetheless, he is still so much faster with it. Look how much it saves. Anybody going for this cut? Flo! The thing is, Flo also has Stadium Core now. Uh-oh. I feel like I know Flo's destiny. Okay, Flo goes slow and saves it, so it's still fine. Alright. Here we have the final people coming in. Plixi is doing wild off-road shit. Nixobi losing a life. 07 to Nixobi as well. Dude, we are losing players every single round. That is crazy. But this is also map 5 already, so starting from the next map, we will only have the bottom two players losing a life. So there will be a few knockouts less per round, hopefully. <laughs> okay, next up, we have quite a cooked map again. It is called a Snowball Fight, built by Sterifi. And uh, this map also has a little bit of a theme. Uh, it's basically a reactor cruise control map. So very, very interesting combination. And also not too easy to drive good. So, let's see what the players are going to do. So, as you can see, they are in uh, cruise control now. Cruise control basically means that uh, their speed, the speed that they enter the cruise control with is locked, like a cruise control IRL, basically, up until a reset or the next checkpoint. So, you want to make sure that you get as much speed into the cruise control as possible, because otherwise you lose a lot of time. So, here we have a reset then, downhill right into another downhill right, small transition here, into the next... Um, Reactor. Once again. Yeah, hello! You can flip here? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I hope that's not gonna happen to anyone. Yeah, that's not the line we're laying. <laughs> then not taking the loop, but instead going here. Then we have an uphill where you gotta go here. Quite easy to fail as well. And then I think we should be close to the finish already. We have a right turn, a downhill, and up into the finish definitely an interesting map not too easy to drive i'm pretty sure we're gonna see the one or other rather big crash here so let's see let's see who's gonna survive here so here very scary but everybody got it pretty nicely to be honest nothing too bad happened here into the next reactor oh some people are sliding out what the hell did they do huh? some people fully flipped out of the map not sure what happened to them looked like they were way too fast or something so that is full mud Fred Wolf almost doing the flip, but luckily saving. Fre <laughs> Flo also with a very bad line, but yeah, people crashed a lot, so he just needs to survive and he's gonna be safe. Same for Marius here in front. <coughs> so let's see if he's gonna make it. Flo's making it. Yes. Okay, but how's the bottom two looking? We have Valegen and in front of him is Plixi. Does Valegen have a chance at catching up? Centrian also not too far away. But let's see. Ah, not the greatest line here by Valegen. Where's Plixi? I don't see Plixi. Valegen is fully in the mud. And Plixi finished. So we have... We have a 014. 
014 into the chat, guys. Zentrian entwalegen, knocked out. Alright. Oh god, Turbo fully crashing the start. And he only has one life left. So, and he has no speed into the cruise control. He is so slow. That looks a little bit mud for him. But there might still be crashes, of course. So he, maybe he has a chance of catching up. We will see. Bonk. Doesn't look good for him. But Wolf also with a respawn. So two respawners already. And Turbo is way too fast here. Holy moly. Ay, 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 ay. Very chaotic. But he's in front of Marius. What is Marius doing? Marius flipping around like a... I don't know. Ballerina. A holy moly. Eh. So maybe Turbo still has a chance. If he somehow has a chance at catching up. But it doesn't really look like it. Because Fred Wolf is quite far ahead. Plixi also here again. But also Plixi should be safe. Absolute chaos here. Fred Wolf even overtaking Plixi. But it doesn't matter. And we have to give an 07 to Lacos Turbo this round. Holy moly, a Germany in the mud. That is correct. Germany absolutely in the mud. Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. If you think the maps so far have been wicked, look at this map. Look at this map. Thanks, Novo Full Speed by Profit. Look at this map. <laughs> this one is fucking crazy. This one is absolutely insane. Look at this. So you have plastic, you have snow, you have the insane bumpers, you have way too much speed. This is absolutely crazy. Look at this. Bonk. <laughs> this map is hella insane. So you don't go here, you go here in the left turn. That was a bit confusing to be fair. Marius of course has way less speed than you want to. <coughs> but yeah, crazy maps guys. <laughs> absolutely crazy maps here. So somebody finished. Let's see if Link is gonna finish. Absolutely cooked map to be honest, but it works really well. It, it really works like it's not bad. It might look bad, but it really works guys trust So zack flip as well flip into the finish <laughs> Holy moly eh? Holy moly most normal track mania map I would say okay, we're going in Bonk Oh some people going for more flips than others Link going for a very brutal wall bang so Link uh, will definitely be a little bit low on speed. I mean, guys, we're playing the Big Yak Monthly Cup now. Never forget that. The maps are big and they are Yak. If you expect per a perfectly calculated Trackmania maps here, then you played the wrong cup. Oh, Link! Oh, Link fully bad wallbang. But Link, of course, also not very used to the snow car, to be fair. But he might still survive this round. Gets a clean wallbang. Where's Arpa? Arpa with the overtake! Is Arpa gonna catch him? And I think Arpa is... Overtaking. Arpa sniping Link barely in the ending. So Link will go down to one life and Arpa will hold on to his three lives. Damn, Arpa really cooking. But we have an 07 to our current winner, Fred Wolf. He is not gonna defend his title. That is uh, very unfortunate. GG, Fred Wolf. Hope you enjoyed nonetheless. But the map really works. Like, it, it is fully consistent and it works. You just have to, like, get the plastic ball bangs somewhat good. It's really not that complicated. But of course, you also need somewhat uh, good solid control of the snow car. Otherwise, but Oh, Link with a different warping once again. Not looking too great from him. Honestly, I want Link to survive. Because it's the first time he's in the final. And look at this speed Link has. Holy moly. Yeah, going for a bank. Oh, that's very bad. I think he's in the mud. I think Link is deep in the mud. Uh oh. Link is definitely out. Heath also has zero speed. And the rest should be very safe. Yeah, sadly, you cannot wallbang on that pole here in the back. So we have the GG for Link, sadly. Ah, uh, unlucky man. GG. Unfortunate. Another 07, this time going to Link. When do these dog water car maps end? <laughs> Worst map I've played in my life. <laughs> uh, I see the participants today. They really enjoy the map. <laughs> Fantastic. Most normal monthly final, guys. <laughs> So, next up, we have Winter Swimming, which is um, a little bit of a wood map, also some wet woods. And this is going to be a good one for Elcon. GG, Elcon. <laughs> this one has quite some wet wood. So, let's see what's going to happen on this map. It's a cool map, to be honest. It is nicely built. Uh, it's called BY... What? Uh, BYM BAM Winter Swimming by Boxtrot. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool map. Works pretty nicely. 
a kind of a slow wetwood map. Not sure if I've ever driven like a slow wetwood map. Also some underwater slides here, as you can see. It's a pretty cool map. Even though it has water and I don't like water. But this one is nicely built, can't deny that. And also very different kind of style. And no snow car, so nobody can complain. <laughs> so yeah. Let's see. People look like they get the map quite nicely in the warm-up. Elcon in first together with Lars. That is not very surprising to be fair. So also here, right turn into right turn. We have a risky finish though, which is not too easy. Because with this one, you can overjump it. If you have really good speed, you can overjump the risky finish. So I'm pretty sure there's at least going to be one player who will have more speed than he had in the warm up and will overjump it. I would not be surprised. Of course, you can also go safe finish here. Especially if you don't need to gain any time. Probably not worth to risk it. When do the dog water car maps come back? <laughs> We have the different we have different kind of people in the <laughs> in the chat. Some people like them, some people don't. But first of all, let's enjoy the wood map, guys. Don't we all enjoy a good chunk of wood? Especially in the morning. I think we all do. So let's see what's gonna happen here. And Heath, what did Heath do? Heath already two seconds behind. That is um not very good. Um yeah, no? That's not very good for Heath. So let's go on to Flo, who is currently fighting. And let's see if he's gonna survive it, because he is down to one life, and there is two players in front of him who also are down to one life. So, uh, yeah, it's kinda uh, crazy here, to be honest. <coughs> ah, but Flo not getting the cleanest lines down. He has players in front of him, but he definitely needs... Oh, Marius with no speed! Marius no speed! Tark no speed as well, what's gonna happen? Oh, Tark has absolutely no speed! Even Heath could maybe overtake! Marius is making the risky finish! And Mario saved his ass and Elkon almost lost a life. What the hell did Elkon do? Jesus Christ, Elkon on this map, which he should be really good at style-wise. <laughs> this dock water surface is not much better. Arpa! Why why are you Mr. Negative? You literally have all of your lives left. Stop stop crying, Arpa. Focus, man. Keep your free lives and win this thing. Don't chat all the time. What is that then? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, Elcon said maybe put the risky finish higher. That's exactly what I said. I knew that someone is gonna overshoot it. I knew that someone is gonna overshoot it because I did the exact same in my first try because I had good speed. And I wasn't uh, thinking that it could happen. So yeah, quite easy to fail that. Oh, once again, Flo, who is fighting for his life, in danger. But I think Flo also, like, always doing pretty solid in the monthly finals and I think he also qualified to all of them already. So he is, um, yeah, always playing, which is cool to see. So I hope that he is gonna survive this round. He is at least gonna snipe Tark, but is he gonna snipe someone else? He has good speed, maybe with the risky finish. Is he gonna risk it? Yes, he is! Heath is not getting it, but Flo hits the finish! No! No, he would have been safe! No! No, what is happening? No! Wait, he is safe? No way, what the fuck? He still survived? What the fuck happened? So many people failed to finish. <laughs> what the hell? How did he survive? <laughs> Who wrote the script, guys? Absolute cinema. And Arpa failed the risky finish. Yeah. That is uh, unfortunate. And we also have to give an 07 to Takuns. GG, man. 12th place. Solid. But sadly, out now. And we go to the next map. We have Bonk Your Magnet, built by... Cyclops Steve, a fellow Dutchie, and also this one is, um... So just in case people don't see it, you have to press PF and left in the start. So I don't want people to get fucked by that, but it is consistent. It should be at least. <laughs> <laughs> it works very well apparently. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait, this is gonna be a bit cinema. Guys, you just have to hold PF left in the start. For me, it always worked. So I hope it's gonna work here as well. Then we have a little bit of a magnet, which can easily fuck you up, as Marius showed. <laughs> now, once again, a high-quality map that you guys cooked here. And then we have a little bit of a normal road section, a small magnet yeet here, like this, basically. Pretty cool. Then here, uh, you can do a loop like Arpa does, or you can also skip that loop. And then you also have a risky finish. Um, you can basically grip the magnet here, and if you get it good, it soups you over the slow-mo. Absolutely normal Trickmania map. I hope people will enjoy it. Surely nothing bad will happen in the start, guys, right? Surely nobody will forget to... Okay, wait. We're gonna catch it in Camp 7. Are you guys ready? 
Let's see. Uh, Bren! <laughs> no, Bren fucked it up. Ah, uh, Bren fucked it up. Okay, but he can still redeem himself. He didn't lose too much. He had a... Uh... Naya. He's not even in orange. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Uh-oh, Marius might be a little bit in the mud. And also Flo might lose his first life here. Wait, is this Mar... Who is this? Oh, Mar... No, Marius! No, what is Marius doing? Oh, Flo is safe because of him. Oh, Blixie, maybe you have to snipe for Flo. Maybe you have to snipe. Risky finish. <gasps> he got the biff to Risky. No way. He got it by 400. Because he got the soup. Holy shit. Okay, that was actually an insane snipe. He got the magnet soup and sniped, like flew over the slow-mo and gained like only like a tenth or something. But it was enough to overtake Flo. And now Flo is out and Plixie is still in. Crazy. Holy moly. But yeah, Marius with that, down to one life. And Lars is, by the way, the only one left with two lives. Okay, everybody getting it now. That is good to see. Very nice. Who's gonna fail the magnets? Ah, Bren slightly failed it, but he is still somewhat there. But also Lars and Elkon with low speed here. Same for Heath and Marius. Oh, no, 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 no. Marius. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Alarm, alarm, alarm. Oh, that's very bad. Okay, I think Marius is out. Oh, Heath could maybe snipe. No, what is it? Nein, 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 nein. Marius! No way, Marius is in. No way, no way. Nein, Marius is actually in. Arpa full that. Bren, what is the Bren doing? And Heath also survives. What the hell is happening? Everybody dying left, right, and center. And Bren and Arpa now down to one life. What in the cinema is happening? Okay, we're gonna go to the next map, which is which has a very creative map name. Um, it is called Way 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 He He by Young Geyer. Young Geyer? Young Young Gear? Young Geyer? Young Giri? I have no idea. A uh, bit of a weird map as well, quite a long one also, uh, 52 seconds. And also maybe a little bit confusing, but it should be fine, it should be fine. People will figure it out. So, go straight in the start, then we have the first appearance of the desert car. So more dog water car maps. Arpa will be happy, I think. But only a pre-F part, basically, so it should be fine. Then a drop into plastic here. Zack, long plastic turn. Wanna keep speed, of course. Then uh, up the hills, you can choose three different paths here. All of them should be somewhat equal, I think. Then here, you need good exit speeds. You need... Wait, did I test the respawn? Uh, I hope people don't have to respawn here, because I'm not sure if I tested this respawn. Let's just pretend I tested it and nobody will fail it. All good. And then at the ending, uh, you have a downhill part here. A downhill part. Jumping onto here. Wood into the left, into right. And then into either the risky finish here or um, the safe finish down here. So most normal maps. Uh, most normal map. Very, very dank, but it should be fine, hopefully. This is also the final map where the bottom two will lose a life. Starting from the next map, it will only be the very bottom player. So let's see what's gonna happen here. We will definitely see multiple knockouts on this map, I'm pretty sure. First of all, Elkon, very bad speed in the start, but it should be fine for him, I would say. There's still a lot of possibility to gain time here. Going into the reactor up section now. Landing inside line by Elkhorn, pretty solid. So far, everybody's still in the mix, nothing too crazy happening. We see different lines here, and Lars going for a very smart line with which he can full speed. Okay, Lars has the big brain power. Very nicely done by him. Oh, Purple with a crash. I'm not sure if Purple has the speed to make it. Same for Marius. Uh oh. Eee! Yeah, respawnable, respawnable, all good. Not a problem, not a problem. But I think, uh, I think Elkhorn is in the mud, unless he overtakes. Elkon maybe with a risky finish snipe? No. Elkon going down to one life and Marius barely in. But 07 to purple. 07 into the chat. Purple getting 10th. GG to him. Well played nonetheless. A bit unfortunate with that clip here. But top 10 is definitely solid. It's crazy. Seven people with one life. Marijn with two. And Lars still with all three. So Lars actually cooking this month. Crazy. What is El Why is Elkon not going for him like the left right at the start? He's losing a little bit with that, but he should be fine. 
Okay, so some people with a slower start. One of them is Bren. And Bren as one of the absolute fa- Oh my god, somebody zoomed away. What was that? Wait, where is Marein going? No, wait, who was that? Oh, was it Heath? No, it was Dennis. Dennis the Menace. Absolutely XDD line by Dennis. Um, yo, I think he's gonna be out with that. Or is he not? I think he is. Yeah, true. Lars is also not streaming today, so he is full focus, maybe. <laughs> but I think Dennis is gonna be out unless his fellow Dachi Marine is gonna save him, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Nope. Dennis is out and Heath is out. Both of them had quite a big crash. So can we get a 014 in the chat? 014 to Dennis and Heath. Dennis in 8th, Heath in 9th. Also solid positions. Can be proud of that. GG. But it is sadly over. And with that, we are now in the phase where only the very last player is gonna lose a life. So that's gonna be very interesting. Alright, next map, we have Blue Float by Master Lama Chess. And this is, um, yeah, a little bit of a tech map. So we go back to some more normal stuff. I think people um, might not be too sad about that one. Because, yeah, we had a lot of crazy maps now in a row. But it is not like a giga, super insanely calculated tech map. It is... Um, yeah, no, like, a bit of a yak tech map, <laughs> I gotta say that. So it's not very normal. The scenery is really cool, though. Also here, uh, nobody did it, but it's actually faster to skip the ramp and just go left here. Because with that, you have less ground con uh, less uh, airtime, basically, and more ground contact. So let's see if somebody will do it in a live round or not. We also have a three-wheel uphill here, so you don't want to crash that, of course. So kind of scared. Uh, kind of scary. But other than that, pretty normal, pretty easy to learn because you can basically see everything that is coming up. <laughs> so I think we're gonna have some close races here. Also here, upper left. Nothing too crazy. And into the finish. Quite simple map. Seven players left. Let's maybe quickly go through them. Lars, Marijn, Bren, Marius, Arpa, Elkon and Plixi also still alive. That is cool to see. So let's see. And only uh, Marijn left with two lives. Okay, Bren going for the risky. And you see, it is a little bit faster. He gained like two tenths maybe. And I mean, on this map, with the close races, it might be worth it. So Marijn currently in last. Marijn needs to catch up. Oh, getting some airtime here. That is actually very unfortunate. Also drifting here, forgetting where to go. And he has very bad speed up the hill. I think Marijn will go down to one life now. Ay, 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 ay. That looks, uh, yeah, not so great for Marijn to here. Will he catch up to someone? Or will he not? Will there be a crash in the last turn? Nope. Marijn will... No, what the fuck? Lars? Huh? Yeah, hello, my name is Lars. And I survived the most Yak maps in the, on the planet. But I have a six second crash on a tech map. That's very unfortunate. He lost his first life here. I didn't even see what happened. What the fuck? Okay, that's interesting. Dude, it would be so cinema if we would have seven players left all with one life. That would be so freaking cinema, eh? Holy moly. Okay, so, once again, some people going for the risky here. It is a little bit faster. Oh, we once again, Marijn struggling so much on this map. Holy moly. Marijn point three behind uh, Marius. But also kind of yak lines here. Good speed up the hill here, however. And he is catching up to Marius. Uh oh, Marius cannot save too much. Marius needs to risk a bit. Oh, but Marijn with a very bad line. I think Marijn here will lose his second life now. And is it actually happening? Still no knockout. Marijn now down to one life. And this is crazy, guys. Holy moly, this is crazy. So many people with one life. Only Lars now left with two. But starting from now, we will have to see knockouts. And this one is gonna be very interesting. We have BYMC Stars, built by Serdev. Serdev, type 1 into the chat. This is a desert car reactor map. <laughs> because why the fuck not? And uh, the normal the driving of the map is like, like the normal the, like the route is not that hard, but the risky finish is very dank. So we're gonna have to see if people will opt to go for that or not. <laughs> but okay, people are alive. Doesn't look too bad. But then look at this. Okay, never mind. Here. So basically, you have this part, and technically you are way too fast here. Like, you absolutely yeet out of the century. So either you go slow, 
and go safe, or you try to risk it, jump down here and just like Bren, go into the risky. But I'm not sure if that's um, a good idea to go for. So, I don't know. We will see who's gonna do it and who's not. But I'm pretty sure we will see the one or other big crash in the finish. <laughs> for sure. So let's see what's gonna happen. I think the ending in Camp 7 is the smartest thing to do. Mach rein, the Desert Call Whisperer. Getting pretty good lines. Small slide out here. But should still be fine. Also Elkon cooking actually. Elkon always crying about the cars, but he's doing good. Man, man, man. Oh, but Arpa is behind. But now the finish. What will happen? Will we see riskers? Yes, Plisky going for the Giga Risk. Oh my god, so many people are risking it. Wait, everybody made it though. Huh? Wait, nobody failed. So first of all, our uh, 07 to Arpa. Arpa probably very happy about this map. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, holy moly, barely anyone failed the risky finish. That is kind of crazy, to be honest. That is kind of crazy. GG to Arpa, 7th, very respectable result. Well played, well played, well played. And we're gonna have one more round here. Will we lose another player, or will Lars lose his second life? We will see. But it seems like players actually have to risk the ending. That is crazy. I didn't expect that. I thought you could just go safe and you would be in. But apparently not. Oh, but Marain! Oh, 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 Marain, Marain, Marain! Marain needs a finish crasher. Marain needs a crasher. Will somebody crash? Elkon with a small crash? Oh, Plixi failed! Marain! Is Marain making it? Yes, Marain! With the snipe. Holy moly. Okay. Plixi sadly out. 07 to Plixi. Sixth place. Very, very good result. Well played, well played, well played. But Marain with the snipe of the century. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, and we go to the next map. It is called BYMC Encrypted Bounce by Varki. And also this one is a little bit more normal again. So let's see what's gonna happen on this one. It's a little bit of a NASCAR map, you could say, but also a little bit XTD. Like, not the most normal map. So let's follow Lars on his discovery run. Left turn here. Then if you get this drift really good, you can basically jump out and catch the reactor in the air. But not easy to go for that. Then you have a small wall right here where you can keep grip at the bottom. Then here, small plastic bounce which you should air break. Uh, sometimes this one can flip you. So very scary. I have that in my discovery. Then tight drift into a left turn. Right turn, left turn. Bit of a slalom going on. Now zack, zack, uphill. And I think Dan is already the finish coming up. I think. If I remember correctly. Never mind. One more turn. Reactor left. Very simple map to be honest. But uh, that will of course mean that we're gonna have some close fights here. So let's see. So yeah, finish here. And the finish is actually true. Never mind. The finish is not that easy because you have to turn around and go backwards over the boosters. Basically, Lars did the correct thing, I can tell you. Like, basically spin and then go forwards again. What is gonna happen on this map? What is gonna happen? It's a cool map, yeah, for sure. So here, the exit speed matters a lot, of course. And Marius had really bad exit speeds. Marius also going for a very high wall ride. Not the best line to opt for. And if nobody crashes, Marius might be a little bit in the mud, actually. So let's see. Is he gonna make it or is he not? Will he overtake someone? Oh, Marain with big air time and Marain having a bad line. Marain touching Marius with the overtake, but it's close. Who's gonna make it? Who's gonna have the better ending? Marius with more speed, but does Marius know what to do in the ending? Marain is going for the spin. Marius is getting it as well, but Marain going backwards and Marain is barely ahead because Marius crashed. What on earth? Marius in fifth place because he didn't have the ending strat. What a fight. Holy moly, eh? What a fight. 07, Marius is sadly out. Alright, top 4, Lars, Elkon, Brennan, Marain. And the top 3 is gonna win money, as I told you guys in the beginning about. I would, I can tell you the repetition um, after this round here. So that you guys know how much each place is gonna win. But first of all, let's focus on this map. And we actually have Lars. What the fuck was that wall... Yeah, Lars, what was that? What was that wall right line, Lars? What the fuck is Lars doing? <laughs> is he on drugs? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, there was uh, some very interesting gameplay by Lars there. That looked a bit like uh, Cup of the Day Division 15. 
But okay, fair enough. Happens to the best Here. of us. Here's the prize pool repetition. The top three will win money. First place, 200 euro. Second place, 125 euro. And third place, 75 euro. So this is what people can win. And for a fast learn competition, like you don't have to practice anything for this cup. You just join and be good. <laughs> I think considering that, you can win quite some money here. So it's gonna be exciting. And we go over to the next map, which is called Penalty Yak, built by Toyplex. And this is actually a very cooked and cool map. It basically has the concept of red boosters mixed with penalty grass. So you always gain speed, lose speed. Gain speed, lose speed. It's pretty nicely built and very crazy to drive. So this one could be very, very entertaining. But I think this will be a good map for Lars, Elkon and also for Bren. So I think for Marijn it will be very hard to uh, be fast enough here. But we will see. I don't want to underestimate him. Top 4 is already really good for Marijn by the way. Like he has been doing really really well so far. So I kind of want him to get top 3. But I think this one could be really really hard. And also the ending here. Like look how nicely this is built. I really enjoyed this. I think it's a pretty cool concept. Everybody, yeah, sudden death. Everybody only one life, so whoever gets last is knocked out. And this is also the second last map, by the way. Oh, a touch by... Oh, Bren with a bit... Bren's a bit behind. Mach rein, mach rein, what is Mach rein doing? What is, La what is Bren doing? No! Bren is out, I think. No, Bren absolutely yacked the drop. No, and Bren will barely miss out on the prize pool. Oh, uh, no. The first month where Brent participated though, and now with his new streaming schedule, I think we will see him in the monthly final pretty much every single month. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure next month he will get the top 3. GG to Bren, thank you for joining. 07 to him, I hope he enjoyed it. Was he actually streaming? Okay, quick live reaction. GG, fun maps honestly, I had fun. Really fun maps. This one is not my cup of tea, but I should have played that so much better. We have the next round going on already, and Machain with the crash! Oh, 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 oh! Ay, 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 ay. Marijn is maybe in the mud. I'm not sure. Can he catch up? Can he overtake Lars? Elkon probably too far away. Oh, Marijn with a bad drop. I think that is the early GG. I think Marijn will get third in this round. Or is he? Is somebody failing the finish? Maybe? Probably not, though. The finish is quite easy to save. And Lars knows that he can save. So does Elkon. So we will have the, yeah, the ITB grand final, you could call it. Elkon versus Lars for the final. Marijn getting top 3. Marijn very well played. 75 euro going onto his bank account. G. G. Brent says he will build a map for next month. Yeah, but next month is not going to be on user-made maps. He has to wait until December for that. <laughs> okay, and for the grand final, we have a map which is called Agility Drift Leap by It's Hagen Hagen. So not by the Hagen guy, but by Hagen Hagen. <laughs> and this one is actually pretty cooked. It's a pretty cooked map. So let's see what's gonna happen here. Not an easy one as well. So let's see. I wanna see who's gonna win. Who's gonna get first and who is not. Lars already won first month. Elkon has not won so far. And Elkon especially got scammed uh, last month a little bit because of technical issues. So honestly, Elkon would deserve to win, but if Lars does really good, Lars of course also deserves it. So plastic into downhill here, then we have a drift to the left. It's a bit more of a normal map again, quite cooked. Should give us a good fight, hopefully. Might be a bit better for Elkon than for Lars, to be fair. But also Lars has a chance, of course. So let's see, it is a very cooked map actually, a very good normal map. So let's see. We have a wood part here as well. Wood into road. Elkon also respawning. Then in the ending you have a water bounce. Into a right turn. And also a small risky finish where you wanna bounce into this. So it is failable. You just don't have to go through the water like Lars does. Just like this and this should work. Yes. Okay, so I think we're gonna have some fights coming up here. Lars going for as many respawns as possible. That is actually quite smart, to be honest. Lars going for the respawns. Ay, 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 ay. He just needs to not go through the water. Like, I just dodged the water and it worked. <laughs> Looks scary, yeah? The Dutchies, alright. It is very scary. So, final round. Who is gonna win it? Who's gonna go home with 200 euro? And who's gonna go home with 125 euro? Let's see. Both of them are kind of the winners already. But let's see who's gonna be the actual winner. 
Lars definitely uh, not the winner in terms of the gears at the start. But not too far behind. Anything is still possible. Oh, way better line into the plastic. Elcon slightly forgot where to go, so he is overtaking. We have a fight, guys. We have a fight. Now, the dirt outside turn. Scary to get good. Law is definitely saving a little bit. Elcon catching up again. We have a cinema match coming up here. Oh, Elcon with a bad line, not getting the cleanest landing, but we have a fight of doom. Who is gonna win it? 200 or 125. You're Lars clipping it. Lars getting the slowdown. No. Oh, 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 that's very unfortunate. I think that might be the GG, but Elcon needs to get the risky finish. Is he gonna get it or is he gonna fail it? He's gonna go safe. Lars with the snipe. Maybe Lars with the snipe. No. <gasps> no, point two. It was point two of a difference. Oh, no. What a nice try by Lars, man. Oh, that's so unfortunate. He only lost it because of the uh, slowdown, man. Ah, oh, that's actually a bit... That's actually a bit... Nah, Elcon, are you for real? Was there a different end? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. My name is Elcon, and I didn't even know about the risky finish. Oh, my God. But deserved win for Elcon, especially after, um, yeah, getting fucked a little bit. After, uh, you know, uh, getting fucked a little bit last month. He deserves the win. And with that, we have the third different winner. We now have Lars in the uh, Big Hack Monthly Cup Villa. We have Redwolf in it. And now Elcon is joining them as well. But yeah, with that, ladies and gentlemen, the Big Hack Monthly Cup of this month is going to come to an ending. We will be back with it, of course, uh, next month with the next edition. Once again, with a different format in terms of the maps. I'm not even sure yet what it's going to be like. I'm also not sure yet what the prices are going to be. But you will see all of that on my Discord. So if you are interested in uh, joining one of these Big Hack Monthly Cups as well, uh, then make sure to join my Discord because there you will find all of the information that you need. And uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. We'll see each other next Monday again for the beginning of the next month. The Big Hack Monthly Cup is never ending. It is a continuous circle. It always continues. So uh, yeah, see you guys next month and I hope you enjoyed.